Okay, hello friends and welcome to this video. Uh, today I'd like to take a bit of time and talk about uh, AWS Code Whisperer um, and maybe make some comparison with uh, with GitHub Copilot. Um, so uh, as you know, this pro this pro product is currently in I think in private beta, um, and the uh, folks at AWS, being an AWS community builder. Uh, the folks have been kind enough to uh, give me uh, early access to it and um, I've had some time to kind of play with it um, uh, in the past few weeks. Um, so as you know, uh, uh, AWS Code Whisperer and also uh, GitHub Copilot, they are um, AI-based uh, developer tools that allow you to um, kind of use um, machine learning to uh, kind of basically to write better code. Um, and they use the millions of lines, 100 millions of lines of code that they have in um, um, at Amazon and also at, um, uh, on GitHub to kind of to train the models and uh, provide, uh, uh, yeah, provide uh, some uh, context for the, uh, for the algorithms uh, to generate uh, the suggestions. Uh, so the first, uh, the biggest differences, uh, the biggest difference uh, between um, uh, AWS Code Whisperer and GitHub Copilot um, is the fact that uh, Code Whisperer is not just um, a tool that uh, kind of uh, provides you with suggestions, uh, but also it has this security scan feature. Uh, and let me show you what uh, I mean by that. So for instance, let's, uh, let's say that I have uh, my function and I have so my, um, some couple of functions, but I have hard coded uh, some credentials into my uh, uh, application. Um, and let's run this security scan. Um, as you must see here, uh, it's kind of running in the background. And hopefully um, it should kind of list all of them here. Um, so also I think um, the goal uh, with this, um, uh, with the security scans um, is that it also um, should uh, yeah should detect um, um, kind of um, old and uh, old uh, uh, libraries and probably some stuff that could introduce um, vulnerability into your code and I think that's something pretty neat um, so as you can see here uh, there's this API uh, that is uh, that uh, code whisperer is saying that is detected by code whisperer and also this uh, improper error handling uh, that I haven't, I don't have any error handlings here. Um, uh, yeah, so that's basically it, but let me just do it again and say username equals AWS and pass password equals um, password, all right. So, and then let me say, uh, all right. So let's, let me just run it one more time. Uh, so also one other thing is that I think the Code Whisperer is kind of in its early stage as of course the, um, uh, it is stated on the website. Um, so I don't think I, it's, in my experience, it hasn't been as consistent as GitHub Copilot is. So GitHub Copilot has been fairly consistent throughout uh, my experience. But as you can see here, credentials, um, um, as is password and access keys are uh, how to code in my code then code whispers had, det had detected it. But let's go back and do some of the kind of usual stuff. Let's say I wanna concatenate two strings and let's see what code whisperer comes up with. Um, Sometimes it's kind of, it queries, but it's kind of gets hang on, uh, hang on something. All right. All right. So as you can see there, it's not like, it's not as much as GitHub Copilot. I'm just going to do it quickly also with GitHub Copilot. Um, but yeah, it's not as mature when it comes to also stuff outside of AWS. I think if you want to write, read something from uh, an S3 bucket, it, put, it should do something really great. Uh, read from S3 bucket. Let's see what it does right now. And remember if sometimes if, if it doesn't give you suggestions, just jump the line 
and it should do the stuff for you. So yeah, with with most of this stuff, uh, most most of this stuff, it actually does a, does a pretty decent job. Uh, but if you I don't know if you do some kind of some stuff that are not as regular, um, um, it kind of kind of doesn't give the good. Uh, as good of a suggestion as GitHub Copilot does. So let me just, I'm going to um, stop um, the AWS Code Whisper and just enable uh, GitHub Copilot. All right, and now I'm going to say concatenate two strings. All right, and let's again. So I think it might need to, to close it and open it again or is it fine don't say anything. I think I also need to okay good um, all right yes concatenate um, two strings all right, so now let's see how GitHub Copilot does um, and this. All right. Yeah, so as you can see, it's it's slightly better. Uh, and I, in my experience, it's been a bit more consistent. So also, uh, I think that something I, for, uh, I forgot uh, is the biggest difference is, of course, that uh, AWS Code Whisper is only currently available for Python, Java, and JavaScript. Whereas um, GitHub Copilot is really uh, kind of Fairly mature, and you can do TypeScript, Go, Py, Python, sorry, or Ruby, and also Terraform. I've done quite a bit of that, um, and yeah. So uh, that's going to be. Um, I'm not going to make it too long. Um, so if you have any questions, please please post them in comments. And thank you for watching.